first thing you want to do before working on any electrically driven air compressor is to make sure the compressor itself is turned off. The power to the compressor is turned off and if possible that the air compressor is unplugged from the power service. Once you feel you're sure that you've turned off the power to the compressor and disconnected any additional power sources that might operate the air compressor, you want to use your multimeter or an amp probe to check to make sure that you are sure that there is no power being delivered to the air compressor. Use your multimeter to make sure that you don't have any operational power going to the compressor systems. Once you have verified this, you can move on to the next step of draining the tank or system pressure to make sure that the compressor is safe to operate. Once you verify that the air compressor is turned off and all electrical power has been disconnected from the air compressor, you want to make sure that you drain the system pressure from the tank of the compressor where you're working with. Make sure that this pressure has been drained down to zero. You can check by checking your tank pressure gauge to make sure that it reads zero. You can also check by pulling the tank safety valve to also make sure that there is no pressure left in the tank. The tank safety valve is typically located somewhere near the gauge. Once you've checked all these things, your compressor is now safe to work on. In this video, we will go over common service items on the RS6 air end. You can see service item locations noted here. We will now change the thermal valve on the RS6 air end. Once you loosen the cap to hand tight, remove it knowing that there is spring tension pressure behind the cap. You can now in place the valve or inspect it. 